Okay, just a brief introduction and demonstration of one of my favorite collaborative tools, and that is edmodo.com. It is a website that um, you can create. Um, you can join a group or you can create a group and then you have a group of people that um, share and collaborate on a common website where you can place resources and files, you can create quizzes, um, and it's very much like a Facebook format. Let me take you there. So you'll just open up a browser, any browser. I'm on Google Chrome, but you can open up Safari or Firefox or Explorer and you just type in edmodo.com edmodo.com and this will take you there. If you have not been logged in or created an account um, then you'll sign up here under I'm a teacher and fill out all this information. I do have an account so I'm going to log in here All right, and it takes you to a um, your home page basically, and that is this little home icon will always take you to this page. It will show you all the groups that you belong to on the left here, and very important right here is where you see that you can either join a group or create a group right there in the upper left. Join or create. Usually, if you're working at Edmodo, you've been asked to join a group. So you would click join and they'll give you a five or six digit code that you would put in right there and that will allow you to be a part of that group. Um, inside that group, and it, again it looks very much like Facebook, um, you can do post. If you type a post in, you can um, attach a file, a link, anything that's in your library that develops as you work in Edmodo. You can create an assignment. Um, and you just walk through those steps to create an assignment for your students. You can create a quiz and add first question. Very user friendly. So I'm going to go back home here. Um, one thing I would notice or let you know about your account is the first thing I would do is once you have your account go into your settings which is in the upper right account settings and um, you can create your profile right here but I would go to email and text updates and if you do not uncheck all these boxes then you will probably get inundated as you're part of a group and people reply and and post new things and you're getting get an email every time so so you, if you don't want to do that go ahead and uncheck all the boxes you don't want and save those notifications you can also change your password here and set privacy settings but I'm gonna go back home and again, just show you in this example of this group, Engaging the Net Generation, um, I can see a bunch of posts and people can reply to the posts just like Facebook. Um, they can post links or files, um, but it's very user friendly and very um, great to work with a group. You also have, this is like your, your home page of, of your group, but you also have a tab for folders. And you can create folders and inside those folders add files. Now I'm going to go to a group that I created to show you that ability. And when I go to folders, I see here I can, um, I have a folder there, but I can add a new folder here. I can bring in folders that I've created before, drag them in, very easy. Once you go in there, then you can add to the folder and insert files or links or anything from your library. Um, you can access your members in your group, and you can also create small groups within the larger group. And each of these small groups will have its own um, home page that looks very similar to this home page where you, you have your posting and um, main conversations going on right here. To create a group you would just click on create, give it a name, select a grade or a range of grades and then select a subject area. You can say all and then hit create and I will um, create one for you here so you can see that it's going to take some time to create, but once you have created that 
and I'm going to give that time to, to happen. You're going to see a group code. It will assign your group this code. It's usually five or six digits. And that's the code you want to give to the people that are wanting to be a part of your group or you want to be a part of your group or part of your class. Um, that's the code you give them. And once they enter that code, when they join, they'll enter that code and be a part of your group. So they'll show up in the members. Another great thing about Edmodo is you can be a part of communities and I'm a part of several here. I'm a part of the math community. You click on math and um, this is a community that just talks about math. You've got lots of math teachers all over the place. It says it's got 27,000 plus followers. And so you've got a lot of people following this topic and posting great ideas. You've got lots of resources over here on the side. Um, let me go back home and look at some of my other communities. I've got Mathalicious. Here's um, PBL. The Buck Institute has a community, has a publisher, publisher site that you can follow. So if you're wanting to know more about PBL, then that would be a great place to start and to follow. And if you just want to be a lurker, that's fine. You can post if you have a question and you want somebody to reply to you that's interested, also interested in PBL then that's where you would go. It's a great place. I think um, I've also um, have joined the Socrative and the Teaching Channel. And just about anything you're interested on the web probably has some kind of community or publisher site on Edmodo. So you just, you just choose those sites. You can browse. And then you can um, browse all those communities. And once you have one that looks interesting to you and you want to follow then you would just choose to follow and it would show up on your communities down here at the bottom and you can just kind of see what's going on what's trending so very much um, a social network a very collaborative website and and designed very user-friendly so if you have any kind of group that you want to collaborate with and you want to have a place that stores information and um, in folders and very easy to organize, then this is the way to go. I hope you enjoy.